He's dislocated some portion of his leg there, Jim. An injury so gruesome it brought his coach to tears. Look at the love on this team. Teammates, even opposing players, finding it difficult to watch. Rick Pitino is coming to midcourt now. Kevin Ware's compound tibial fracture in Sunday's Elite Eight game against Duke would leave many to wonder if he'll ever walk again, much less play basketball. This team is in tears. But UE assistant trainer Troy Coppas knows better. The way that surgeries go these days and the knowledge that we have with rehab and everything that goes along with it, he'll probably, you'll probably see pictures of him walking a lot sooner than you think. But the rehabilitation process is a roller coaster. Triumphs and trials abound. It's, it's a process. Where is already post-op. Steel rods inserted for stability as the splintered bone heals. Apparently in good spirits as he holds a regional championship trophy with his head coach at his side. But this is just the beginning. It's going to be probably about, uh, it's a pretty cliche, but six to eight month process. Coppas says baby steps are the best way to ensure the grinding rehab doesn't cripple the young star all over again. You have to kind of make goals in the short term and just have the athlete focus on that goal. Okay, put a little bit of weight on it, let's start walking on crutches and then let's start walking without crutches. They kind of don't see the forest for the trees, but keeping that, that major goal of getting back to participation in mind. But for where his first small goal, accompany a his team, his a couple of his teammates, holding his jersey, holding his jersey to Atlanta. From Evansville, Ryan Brashler, Eyewitness News.